Hello everyone, my name is Mary Shaji Matthews from Department of Computer Application at Bhopal School of Social Studies, Bhopal. Today we are going to learn about programming methodologies and data structures. Program methodologies basically in C++. Our today's agenda is introduction to programming where we will uh, learn about program concept, characteristics of programming, stages in program development, algorithms and flowchart. Program concept. Now what is a program? A program is a set of codes or a set of logics we can say where we write a code and we get the result of what our objective is. A program is a set of instructions that a computer uses to perform a specific function. For example, we can use an analogy that uh, when we are cooking a dish, we use spices, we use ingredients as our spices and we have certain steps to follow when to put which spice. So in the same way, our spices will be our variables, variables that we use to represent numeric data, text or images and a list of directions that is how to use these spices to make a dish same way how to use those variables to create a program we can uh, that we call as statements of our programming language characteristics of programming characteristics of programming are portability readability efficiency structural flexible general generality com completeness now what is portability portability means how our program and how our program is, that is, when we write a set of codes, is our code able to run on any platform? Like for example, on a different operating system or uh, in a different uh, software like that. For example, C++ is portable. If we are writing C++ in a particular software, for example, Windows 7, the same C++ program will run on a different operating system also and in a, on a different version also. It is portable. Now readability. Readability means how readable is your code. Readable means how efficient is it for the other user or the other person to read and understand your code. Next one is efficiency. How efficient your code is. Efficient means taking less memory space and uh, how good your program is structural that is point wise first we move from the uh, structural means how your program is and how you work on your program that is from step one to step six in a proper way without deleting or editing anything that is how that defines the flow of your program without breaking the flow that is from top to bottom till the result Flexible. Flexible means it can be edited, it can be altered and uh, you can make changes whenever you want in your code. General. General means it is uh, a general way how you write your uh, normal English language but in a specific way that is called as a syntax. Not very difficult to understand C++ code. Completeness. Completeness means it has a proper flow, it has a proper way how you write the code in, in the uh, C++ editor. Stages in program development. Now we will look at the stages in the program development. That is how we will write our program or how do we build our program. First is understanding the problem. First, when we are thinking of writing a code, first we should know why we want to write the code? What is the objective of writing the code? So understanding the problem. What is the problem statement? What I want to do and how should I do it? That is understanding the problem. The second stage is plan the logic. Now I have a problem with me. Now I should think that how can I build the logic to solve this problem? For example, if we take a program for uh, calculating greater of two numbers first we should understand or we should know the variables what we want to declare and second we should understand the logic if I put five and five as my first number and I put two as my second number it should show that five is greater than two 
that is building up a logic what are the variables or what are the conditions that I have to put in my program. Third is writing the code, writing the code starting from the header files that is uh, on starting from the header files, the header file is my start until gets here that is the end of the program, the complete flow. Translate the code, translate the code means compiling the code, after writing the code translate means uh, compiling my code to see if there is any errors or not in my code. Test the code, test the program means running the program and checking the bugs, any errors in the program and clarifying the errors. Next one is put the program into production. Now I have built my code, I have built my program. Now I have to put the program into production. Maintain the program. After completing the program, I have um, launched my program also. Now program is in working condition. But after that also the work is not done. Still I have to maintain my program to check is my program working for other, it, is, it, is it fulfilling all the requirements or not. Stages in program development. First stage is the first stage is analyzing the program. Analyzing program as we saw before understanding the program. It is basically understanding the program or understanding the problem statement. The computer user must figure out the problem then decide how to resolve the problem. Next one is design the program. Design the program is um, we use flowcharts. Here a word is specified as flowchart. Now what is a flowchart? Flowchart is basically a structural representation or a pictorial representation of the problem or the program what we want to design. Because if we directly start writing the pro, uh, problem, we might end up using the different logic or making mistake in our program. But if we create an algorithm or a flowchart, now what is the algorithm we will see further. But uh, since we are talking about flowchart, I will just give you a fair introduction about a flowchart. Flowchart is a pictorial representation of telling the flow of my pro uh, problem, that is the program. So that when I am writing the main code, I won't get confused and I don't make much mistakes. Code the program. Code is basically coding the program, writing the program. This is this is using the language of programming to write the line of codes. The code is called the listing or the source code. The computer's user will run an object code for this step. Now we are writing the program. In uh, since we are talking about C++, we will use Turbo C++. We will write our program in Turbo C++ and we will run our code. Debug the code. Debug the code means checking for any errors. checking for any bugs or en errors in our program. Is there any mistake? Did we uh, st skip any step or did we make a syntax error or is there any declaration error? So it will C++ will prompt what is the error and in which line because coding is done line by line. So it C++ even prompt where the error is. So we can rectify the error easily. Formalize the solution. One must run the program to make sure there is no syntax and logical errors. As we uh, learnt earlier, debugging the program after debugging, we will formalize the solution. Formalize the solution means to check is there any error or any bugs so that we can rectify our errors. Document and maintain the prog pro program. The step is the final step of gathering everything together. Now I have done with everything, I have written my code, I have debugged my code, I have rectified all the errors, now I am getting the results properly. Now I am getting the results properly. Now after that, what is the final step? I will um, document all the materials. Whatever I have written, if I have written an algorithm for it, or I have made a flowchart, uh, the code, the results, everything, I will document it together and make a complete file and keep my program. So that whenever I want to read or whenever I want to check what is, what is there in the program or if I want to just go through it, I can easily do that and understand it properly. Algorithms. What are algorithms? Algorithms are basically stepwise approach which is written in a normal English language where uh, 
or step wise is written in normal english language when so that other person who is trying to read or understand what the problem is or what the program is it is easy for the person so we must be uh, designing to provide efficient solution uh, algorithm is basically used to provide efficient solutions it is a stepwise as we saw earlier it is a stepwise procedure to solve a problem easily for example we will see as uh, example suppose we want we wish to find which number is greatest among the two given numbers if there are two given numbers for example a and b my a value is 5 and b value is 2 if i want to find out which number is greatest that is a if i want to find out a is a is greater than b has 5 is greater than 2 if i want to find out this now how will i write the algorithm there are two different ways basically to write the algorithm first one is in a normal english language and second one is using certain terminologies which are used in the programming language step one is just a simple sentence get to numbers compare them and store the greater number in a variable so if a is equals to 5 b is equals to 2 now if 5 is greater than 2 i will store the result in c that is 5 is greater so this is basically storing the greater number in a variable step 3 is display the value of the variable this was the first way and the second way is step 1 input value 1 and value 2 step 2 is if my value 1 is greater than value 2 then maximum value is value 1 if 5 is greater than 2 then my maximum value is 5 that is value 1 else if not if a is not greater than b then my maximum value is b that is the second number so step 3 will be print the largest value as max one more example of uh, algorithm is write an algorithm find the largest value of any three numbers as we did it for two we will do it for three read the three numbers a and b we have taken a and b if a is greater than b we will check a with b and c we will check b with a and c and we will check c with a and b so that we get the maximum value from a b and c and then we will print max and end same way another example of algorithm is input uh, write an algorithm to find the area of a square of sides s s we will take as an input and we will find the square square uh, area of a square is s into s so we will just take one input read the sides of a square as s and then third step will be setting area as s into s and then print area that's all and then end um, here is one example for you all to solve and to understand how uh, algorithms are written that is write an algorithm to convert meters into centimeters from uh, next on the next lecture we will see flowcharts and further notations about c++ programming thank you